seven card draw match. Seven card stud. Sorry, for a card stud match. Excuse me, I'm not up on my uh, poker. It's seven card. stud card. Which is why you're sitting here ring time. Yeah. The one, two, ace, ace, Austin. Oh, Mike, Mike Edwards, how long has, has ace Austin been the exhibition champion now? It's running up pretty close to a year now, if I'm correct. I'm, I'm sorry, probably about, I'd say probably about six months. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. He wrestled in this area in Johnstown. Uh, yes, April of last year, absolutely. Yes. And that was a hell of a match. So, Ace Austin, uh, very much, if you will, uh, excuse me for a little bit of dirtiness, kind of reminiscent of uh, Gambit, if you will. A little bit. All right, now, champ, you drew the ace, which is very apropos. That gives you an advantage. You can Maybe not. Fans are giving their opinions. Right. Yes. The uh, the DTU championship. That's correct. The DTU yes, championship. you are correct. And this man, uh, the stuff that he has done, some of you have seen him do on YouTube where he jumped off of a basketball hoop on the Chubby Daddy. Yes, that was Chubby Daddy in that video. <laughs> yes, it was. That and was I, gotta, I gotta tell you, I love sick. Chubby Daddy. That was I'm telling you. Well, Chris Banks, I got to, got to know this young man at the last show. The newest oh, member of the Sonner. Who's yeah. Chris Banks, the cool part. cat himself. Wow. He, he's telling him you don't, he don't need no music. Well, how did he get so lucky to draw the first one against Ace Austin? I'm not sure I want to go first against Ace Austin. I wouldn't. Not at all. Not the stuff I've seen this man do. Again, that matchup the last time was unbelievable. We are going to have a lot of fun with this one. And uh, excuse me, guys. I'm going to try and call this as best I can. Yeah. I might, I, I might just have to watch this one. I think you guys did. I'll tell you what, what you, the more you add to this, the less I'm going to be able to figure out what's going on. Exactly. And I'm old. You guys, you guys, you guys watching this at home, you don't have a like that. Chris Banks, no slouch at all. No, not at all. We saw him destroy last month after what he did. And look at this. We're going to get that beautiful exhibition championship. That beautiful X Division Championship is right, right there. there in front of us. Yep, take a good look at it. That is impressive right there. That is impact wrestling. That is not. Yeah, we're not calling a match here. We're sitting here looking at this beautiful championship. Hey, Chris, Chris Banks just got in a great shot on these. If you're not a fan, you shouldn't be in the business. Exactly. Send that picture to me. Yeah, send it to me. So I'm excited for this matchup. I'm excited to see what Ace Lawson's going to do in this matchup. This guy, like I said, the stuff he can do is phenomenal. Chris Banks is no slouch. He's been up and down the indie circuit. Been around for a little while. Cat from Brooklyn, New York. Ace Austin from Atlantic City, New Jersey. And that's what we do. We bring you the best talents from all over here in Eclipse Wrestling. Colorado tie up. Again, excuse me, I want to uh, take a little bit of pictures myself. I'm you sure were. I'm a wrestling fan first, a commentator second. 
And I love this stuff. I think Banks just bit Ace Austin. It could be. But a nice arm breaker. Ace goes through. Back. Nip up. You know who else has held that title? Yes. Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle's held that title? Yes. Many great wrestlers. That's what we mean. What a knee lift. What a knee lift by Chris Beck. That's impressive. He's not born for the pin. One. Only got two count, but that's okay. Uh oh. This is not an elimination. This is not a battle royal. 
And, and look at Mambo holding on. Took it out Austin. Nice maneuver. A snap on the top rope. That will give you some breathing issues. Not yet, you can't breathe, you can't wrestle. And they both had the same thing, but I think Chris got the kick in. The kick. Shotgun style knees in the corner. This Chris is, this Chris Banks, he's impressing me. This is a big guy, big powerful guy. And he's, he's been around, I just haven't had much of a chance to see him until he showed up here in Impact Wrestling. Wow, what am I talking about? I'm sitting here looking at this. Yeah. Wishing I was there. Feeling like I'm in Impact Wrestling right now. <laughs> Freddie Ivey and TJ Crawford. Come on, guys. Exactly. Come to work. Come on, Austin. Hey, what's this? This is back wrestling. This is back wrestling. This is unreal. Austin looks hurt. He's playing forward. He's hitting one point. Yeah, if you get hurt in the lower back or the kidney down there, you're, you're in trouble. Well, that's the thing. Like, the kind of matches, the kind of maneuver that he does, that's it leaves himself to be a little bit injured. Chris Banks crosses that back suplex. Oh, he's dropping it. Now who do we have coming down? Dan Hooven. Hardcore Hooven. Hardcore Hooven. Hardcore Hooven. Him and Paul Hooven had a hell of a fight. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. Over here. And these guys do not like each other. Well, let's just say, their mainstays in IWC in Pittsburgh. I'm not afraid to say it. Yes. Yes, thank you. IWC. Hey, we talked about it. These guys are all over. Oh. Flip driver. Get on home. Hardcore Hoover. Hoover is something we have seen in the past. I don't know what he is. A big ring. He's very technical, talented, super nice wrestling grappler. I just love watching. A very him. solid, well put together wrestler. Indeed he is. Rumble has the end rope. There's, there's, a reason that, there's a reason Hardcore Hooven has a few championships on yeah. under his name. He's not very tall, he's kind of small, he's no close ground. Very good at throwing those suplexes because of it. He's got that great leverage. The man who's Ace Austin. Putting Hooven up low. Oh, these kicks in unique offense of Ace Austin. Oh! oh. Well, Chris Banks would have stopped to that. Chris no, Banks, probably the largest man in this entire matchup. So far, so far, yes. Oh! Woo! Chop. This is a hellacious matchup. He laid it in. He's doing it again. Oh. They're chopping Hooven down the mat. What are you doing? There's a lot of history between Hooven and Mambo. They were friends at one time, not so much anymore. But, you know, I love, what I love about some of these matches is if you get this many people, there's all kind of histories between people. And now Ace Austin with those shots. Puts him up in the shores, fireman carry. Carry each like an elevated death valley driver. He just tossed him. <laughs> like a sack of chickens. Now we've got Hooven and Bobo fighting over here. We've got Ace. Thanks, Austin. Oh, right, across the top row. Oh, we got another guy coming down the ring in this matchup. It's the Chubby oh Daddy. Chubby Daddy now in this matchup. Oh, my crazy horse as well, the Chubby Daddy. And I'll tell you what, a lot of people see Crazy Horse for the first time and think, what in the world? Why is this guy even in a wrestling ring? And then you watch him do this. That is why the Chubby Daddy has so many fans. Chubby Daddy is Chubby's coming in here, he's got a little over him. And again, he does, and he's got beautiful hair, I gotta say that. Just a little bit, oh, uh, here we go, right after Ace Austin, we said it before, Ace Austin, the man who jumped off that basketball who's on the tree. That's right. Onto the Chubby Daddy, kind of made him into a, a, a meme, a gift inadvertently, but guess what? Love yeah, no love lost between these two. Oh! Nice, nice and again, look at somebody like Chubby Daddy, yes. Yeah, but you've ever seen him use that minion go right out the window. I'll tell you this, have you ever seen, you ever seen super crazy? Yes. He was like a butterfly, but then a little bit more butterfly. That's what I think he's able to That's watch. crazy. That's him. That yes. is probably daddy. Yes. That is the best thing I can think of. I, I, I would agree. And you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't, uh, 
put it past Impact Wrestling to have their eye on any one of the other six men in this battle. Hey, and if one of them walks away with the championship tonight, they're going to have to have their eyes on them. Chris Banks is doing the right thing. Chris Banks double double action on the back of Malmo. And then Dubin. Oh, if it comes down to it, either one of those two men will do the right thing for themselves. I think so. Joey P is more worried about a fan chant than Dairy Queen at him. It, it looks okay, Chubby. Yeah, it's still in there. And now here we go. What a kick. You know, I caught all of it. I caught enough of it. European up front. Try and call this action the best I think that was, a, I think, I think he just lost the tooth, Hoover did. What a chop. Or his gum. Yeah. Two double kicks. That double elbow is on the bottom. I expect nothing less of this water. I would, I wouldn't be surprised if these two just worked as a team to take out everyone else. Hey, that would be the smart thing to do. It is. What we do here is we take Chris Banks, one second, beat down Austin to help out Joy P, and then takes it to Chubby Daddy. This is a, this is an interesting matchup. We have one competitor left. One competitor left. We know who that is. What a side by Joy P. The man himself, the return. The notorious. Oh, did he bring back <laughs> Oh, man. Really? Well, just when I thought I was so happy that he could wrap back. guy that went to California, one belt out there with Keita Murray. What an elevated game. Ted Cog went hit rap. Hit rap. But you can. No, you cannot. No. He is impressive to watch, and he's as tough as they come. Look at these slaps in the corners. Chubby Daddy going to work on Kid Rap. A little bit of history between them two. But one time, Chubby Daddy will be up as Trajan Rap. And then Trajan Rap. Yeah, and, and keeped up with Kid Rap while Peter Murray was on hiatus. And then Super Kid with the hand and said, You love Peter Murray. Wow. There's a little bit of history right there as well. You know, I love this matchup. You see all the drama, you see all the uh, history. Oh, Bumbo and Ace Austin going at it in the corner. Dishonor double teaming Van Hooven. Ace Austin is in the corner. Chubby Daddy. Oh, is this, is this the first man to get a pin wins this, Mike Edwards? I have no idea. I don't think so. I was just informed that this is single elimination by pinfall or over the top rope. So there's one remaining. Who got eliminated? Hardcore Hoover was just eliminated. <laughs> Sit out, spine buster by Chris Banks. So Hardcore Hoover is out now. Oh, that'll that'll eliminate you in a hurry. And look at this. Look at the little rope by Chris oh. Mambo's eliminated now. Mambo's eliminated. Help of uh, of dishonor. Almost got him. Well, it's kind of like that, Drew. Well, oh, I guess he can go over the top of elimination as well. Oh my God! What a pile driver! Joe P has to be out. Oh, Chris Bank breaks it up. Ah, uh, well, you knew that was coming. No. I know that's his tag team partner, but if you want the odds in your favor, wouldn't you let him be I would have I eliminated? Would have, I mean, when you have a choice like this, it's all 
guys for themselves. Every man for yourself. Uh oh. Uh oh. Well, he still has that crowd that he can cash in for his first. I mean, for a champion. Oh! We have three men left in this match. Well, they're, they're just one, one of my favorites to win this match. Me too. Three men left in the match. I'm Chris Banks, Smith Rapp, and Ace Austin. These guys started the match. Look around for each other right now. You know, there, that's the thing about this. Right now, there is no sign. All these three, these exactly. Guys, that it's every man for themselves. Here we go. A little feeling out process. Getting the last three men. Chris Banks goes for the other up cut. They said it's shot. Four shot by Ace Austin. Quicker than a hiccup by the order of that catchphrase. Yeah, you can. And Banks into the ropes. Reversal. By the stronger, more powerful of the two, in my opinion, Chris Banks. Chris Banks comes over, oh, he's on the apron, kicking the head, but Chris in. Well, oh, he's, he's not only eliminated, he's locked out. Oh, no, he's not. He's out. Well, you can't. Well, the referee could throw them out. He can send them to the back. I let this go on. This is disgusting. This is a great matchup. And, and for something as prestigious as the X Division Championship. Well, these guys don't care how they win it. Well, they don't care about the prestige of anything. No, they don't. Kit Raff taking care of the stat. He's notorious oh. for a reason. Well, he took the stat speed out. Are you kidding me? Oh. They thought they were going to dump Ace Austin over, and he just eliminated Joey. Well, Joey B's been eliminated. Well, that was eliminated. He re eliminated him. And now they're going to look Take out the ball and throw. Kit Raff, wait, inside. Oh, oh, oh. Look at those kicks. Uh-oh. He's going to throw one to Slaughter. No. There was no catching him that time. Head first to the floor. We are down to Kit Raff versus Ace Plus. The notorious KIT versus the one two eight. Well, that doesn't surprise me. Oh my god! Kit thinks he won the match! Oh my god! Oh my god! Wow! Wow! Kick out! Down the last two minutes! Wow! Man, this is an unbelievable matchup! I think we've done a, I think I've done a remarkable job of following along with it. Yeah, you did. I couldn't do it, Mike Evans. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ace is on the outside. Oh. Oh. Ace is on the outside. This match was nothing more than acceptable. Oh, boy. Oh, 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 wow. What an uppercut from Kit Rath. Oh, it just spun him inside out. Like I said, he kind of reminds me of the dynamite kid. He's small, but he is vicious. And a roll-up by Ace Austin. Ace had a scout. Kick out by Kid Rap. 
Coaches, guys, putting it on the line right now. This is a chance for Kid Rapper to become a champion of the Rangers. Both attempting to spin each other and throw the other over the top rope. Oh my god! That has to be a different That's it! What a match! Oh, wow, and this crowd is in it. They are clapping for both of them. Can you blame them? You can't blame them. Not at all. That was an incredible match, ladies and gentlemen. Congratulations to Ace Austin on retaining. Now he can uh, head back to Florida and hit on Trey Miguel's office.